Hello, this is a picture um, with Bruce Garrido in mind, actually. It's supposed to be a bit of a joke because it's two chess pieces, one of which has been felled. And he's got a bit of a reputation for shooting people <laughs> on his own side. So it's a bit of a laugh. But I decided to place them in the Spirograph Nebula, which is a planetary nebula. It's about mm, three or 4,000 light years away from Sol. Uh, and it looks, from the outside, it looks like a Spirograph, like the, the lines that you get, that looping kind of rosette thing that you get when you do a Spirograph. But inside, when you get there, you get the most amazing colours. And the green on and the purples are just so incredible. And they, they changed the colours of the things you can see elsewhere not been there since Odyssey launched so I decided that this was an ideal place to go just a bit of a jaunt and it's the most gorgeous place and it's got some landable planets which have got that amazing glow of that purplish glow and uh, you can stand on them there's, there's rings on one of them that I remember and, and space pumpkins <laughs> too which is rather sweet don't recall any of them having atmosphere actually certainly not landable with an atmosphere but uh, I, I came here I think I think I came here on the way back from Barnard's Loop because been out at Barnard's Loop because there'd been um, some jiggery pokery with the um, the CG was a CG out there I've completely failed to qualify for it but I'm not bothered <laughs> it's the taking part anyway so this was on the way home basically just a nice stop off on the way home and it's an easier way to get out of Barnard's Loop because everything's permit lot around there and I love the way when you look back at Barna's Loop, the, uh, the the big old O-class star is just, just changing the normal kind of red maroon colour of Barna's Loop. And, and of course, there's that, that greenish nebula going on as well. It just I just really enjoyed putting all the colours in, the, 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 the strange and weird colour combinations in, t to show that familiar sight that you're used to seeing in a much more zingy, bright way. I love the way you can still see the stars pinpointing through the gas clouds. And I wanted to show that reflection of these weird colours on the side of my chess pieces as well. So the kind of purpley greenish chess pieces. Anyway, thank you for watching. It's, uh, it's always nice when people do.